All right guys, how you guys doing? What I'm gonna do today for you is apply the Invisible Shield by Zag. They were kind enough to send this over and I will be installing it in this video and, and the main thing is doing a test on it. And uh, hopefully the test uh, is not going to ruin anything, but stay tuned, I'm gonna do some pretty cool things for it and see if it lives up to the expectations that I have. And indeed some of the videos that I have seen, um, it looks pretty damn neat. Now you guys know I did. I have tried the Invisible Shield for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, I've tried OtterBox, I've tried Propota, I've tried basically everything in the market in terms of screen shields and uh, I'm going to give this one another try for the iPad uh, and this one is unique in that it's kind of scratch proof, it, you can pretty much put nails over it and uh, do all sorts with it so I'm going to see uh, if what they state in their video and the description uh, if it lives up to the hype. So this came through today and I'm just going to rip through it see what it's like. Quite an unusual box uh, the iPhone ones is quite small seems to be a big roll. This is the full body for those of you wondering and it comes with everything that you need so this side here That's a big roll. Oh, I guess it's for both sides, so I can imagine why it's big. And you've got the squeegee. As I tend to give good squeegees, it's a hard, proper rubber one. Most of the other companies uh, try to do a fly job in that they give you a small plastic one um, that isn't too um, effective, shall I say. But Zag uh, give you the proper stuff. And this comes in at $39.99 US dollars. So that's approximately what, £20? And here is the spray, which I'm not too keen on, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I prefer just stick using a sticker. And the instructions, so I'm gonna go off camera and read these instructions and see how to do it. Okay, so I've basically read all the instructions and it's fairly common sense, wash your hands and just it's just five or six steps and uh, hopefully this should work out as planned, and yes, I have washed my hands. I'm gonna, as this is a full body kit, I'm gonna hold the back first. Uh, it's gonna be the easiest part, in my opinion. The front part is always the hardest because you want to make that look right. If the back messes up, it messes up. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, in my opinion. But if it's the front, uh, it is a bit annoying. So going from the instructions, I'm going to just spray the hand with the invisible shield spray and peel the back sticker off and the reason why I'm spraying this is because uh, you don't want fingerprints uh, on the shield and now what you have to do is it says hold the invisible shield in your hand the adhesive side up which I have Hopefully you guys can see this. Lightly spray the front and back sides of the invisible shield with the shield spray. Righty oh. So I guess what it's saying is spray this. And I guess it's just a case of putting this bad boy on. I don't like that. Okay, so this is me installed the back and my best advice would be for you to you know, apply as much of this as you can. If what I noticed was I had to take it off and as you see through that video I did have to take the sticker back off, the shield back off and apply more of it. So if you apply a lot of this at the start you won't have any problems. And I think that's what I was doing wrong in the previous uh, invisible shield for the iPhone that I wasn't applying much. I was, I was kind of scared to apply too much on it. But my advice after this installation is apply as much as you can. And I think I've got two or three sort of permanent bubbles. Uh, which I'm uh, not really bothered about 
Uh, hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a pain, but I'm going to go to the front and install the front shield. I'm going to use iClear or any, uh, keep it clean should do as well, and I'll leave a link for that over here somewhere. And uh, obviously because this is going to be your main screen, you want this to be crystal clear before you apply the shield. For obvious reasons, you don't want you know smudges or anything to show up. So I'm just going to spray a bit of this and clean the screen. So here's the front side and I'm going to apply some of this, take the iPad away, I don't want problems like I did with the back side, make sure I've applied plenty of it, bring the iPad back here and boy does this look scary or what. So I applied the front section, I think this is the best attempt that I've made at uh, applying any invisible shield, screen shield and I think I'm quite pleased with myself as to how quickly and how easy it was to apply the front uh, and again I keep saying this but my best advice is to use as much of this as you can and that will mean um, uh, it will be easy to take the bubbles out. Also I noted as you've seen uh, from the video that I've made, use all sides of the, the squeegee this big side here is for those um, bubbles that are hard to come out so don't give up when you're doing just one side try all different corners and this is for the rough and tough ones uh, i presume and I, i'm not complaining one single bit the back could have been a bit better as you see um but uh, you know if i'm actually quite happy that i've done the front uh, the main justice to the front shall i say and uh, let's go ahead and power this on the invisible shield do state or zag do state that you should keep um, this on for at least 24 hours before sort of uh, giving up and tearing it all apart if it doesn't go right. So give it 24 hours, 40 hours to sort of dry in and uh, settle in, shall I say. So it's been 24 hours and um, I'm going to do a few tests on this, uh, mainly two tests to be honest. And uh, the first test is... You know, they say there's a app for everything, and uh, let's see if that is indeed uh, the case. So I've got a carrot here, for those of you who uh, don't realise this carrot, and a very sharp knife. And uh, I'm literally going to chop it on. So this is going to act as a chopping board, the iPad is. And I've got a film around the corners to cover the bezel, um, but rest assured the invisible shield is on this. Uh, and this is a separate case that I got from a different company, and I'll go into that in a different video. But the iPad is going to act as a chopping board. Taking the knife and literally cut this. Rest assured, this is a very sharp knife, and only did I cut myself the other day with it. And as you can see, there is no damage to the screen at all. And that is only because the invisible shield as a military grade, um, it's made from a military grade uh, material so it won't get any scratches, you can literally put nails on this and it won't do any damage to the screen not one bit simply because of the material of it and this is what's sort of unique about Invisible Shield is that their screen protectors are not only a fantastic price, they're the only people that actually make um, these type of shields and uh, I must say it is quite impressive. Chop them up even more. Anyone want some carrots? Leave a comment down below and I'll get some of this carrot shipped off to you. I guess Steve Jobs was right, you know, there's an app for everything and uh, he definitely is a man of his words. 
A lot of people complain that the iPad doesn't come with a stylus and I'm going to use a screwdriver uh, to see if it does the job. So let's try to unlock this. Maybe try a screw, it might help. This is one of the Steve Jobs special styluses. But hey, did we get something? No, it doesn't. Uh, I was actually doing it with my finger. Nope, doesn't work. It does not work. How about if we do something like this? Nope. So as you can see, it um, doesn't even work as a stylus. But the moral of the story is that uh, the screen doesn't get damaged. And those of you saying, well, you haven't really seen you can probably see some marks on the screen, this invisible shield, but there are virtually zero marks on the actual screen. And let me peel this front shield away to sort of show you that. Not a single mark on the iPad screen. And that is thanks to the Zag or the Invisible Shield. It has, you know, done what it's promised. I've seen some of the uh, videos from Zag and it really is up to their words. Thoroughly impressed with Zag and I would highly recommend it for you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will leave uh, the description as to where you can get your Invisible Shield Zag from. It has thoroughly pleased me and I'm sure some of you guys have tried it and uh, agree with me on this. It's lived up to all the tests that I have done on it. This uh, machete or uh, butcher's knife um, really has sort of, you know, changed. Uh, I, was, I wasn't was really a big fan of Invisible Shield, but after doing this test, it really, um, you know, makes me sort of realise that this is the best thing on the market in terms of damage. And if you are in the area of... Uh, maybe you're a builder or maybe you're a bit in the army or uh, a journalist abroad, I don't know what, but if you are in these extreme sort of conditions, this here, the Zag Invisible Shield, is really going to help you out. Thanks for watching, do join me on iGlassWeging.com, Twitter.com slash i 6 glassweging Zag.com to get this, 39 US dollars front and back, which is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.